What are the satellites saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. I've lost the signal. Hey, you know what never loses signal? Paper. All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy, though. Let's get the show on the road. Okay. All right. So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world, so if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. One of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Angus crossed. I see some ruins up ahead. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest 4 by 4 Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. Hey, just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on right now. It's gonna be fine. Uh, what do you suppose the weight limit? <laughs> ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. Shit, shit, shit! You need tracks in here. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Don't spin out now. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Jesus. Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4 by 4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. Let me go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> hey, Nathan, you maybe you want to ease up? Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So 
So Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. Valiant effort. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. Got some big plans for this winch. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. There's definitely ruins from Avery's era. to do it. Well, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. I right, just gotta put the winch back and we'll be on our way. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha, <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. It's taken forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah, well, it's still taking a long time. Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. That's the wrong one, right? That's the good news. Yeah, that means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. We do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead.
Okay, I think that's it. God damn it, Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now how do we get out of here? Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than rape? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. The rape's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. This thing in the same damn thing. But they found the treasure already. Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam. You don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. You to check out books from the library for me. What'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. Well, you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? But... Ah. See that smoke? Ooh, shoreline, slow down.
saying, Nate? Oh, yeah. If you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Check it out, boys. What is it? Hey, guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? Can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Uh, check the place out and keep moving. Drawbridge? How medieval. Yeah. Well, you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to keep people out. Or protect something inside. Hey, Nathan! Go check this out! So, do you recognize this one? I do, actually. And Bonnie. Hmm? Operated out of the Caribbean. The stairs are busted. There's no way up to the crank. Jail. At least that's what the stories tell us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her, too. Hey, be careful, kid. There's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Sam! Special delivery! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, kid. You all right? I'm fine. You all right? Yeah. You got this? Mm -hmm. I see it. I'll bring the car closer. Dude, just relax. I got this. I mean, there's only one train, you know? <laughs> Keep up the good work, kid. Must be this. On the 
shoreline show up. Hey. Now, let's get that bridge down. Let's see here. Hey, you see something? <clears throat> Try that again. There we go. Thanks for waiting. All right, hang on, guys. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? the nitpick, but Avery spent all that money on towers. Would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? <clears throat> well, it was worth a try. Gonna take a look around. Just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is worth 400 million. Right, but if Nick thinks there is correct, then there's a lot more treasure. Well, you should have told him it was 200,000. You never tell your partners how much a job is uh, worth. I wasn't exactly expecting to be caught with it. Guys, we're gonna find it, pay off that lunatic, and still have plenty to spare. Trust me. Sharing this one with my shrink. <laughs> Wait, you have a shrink? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. Get the whole thing under control. Hold on to something. <laughs> ah. ah, that was a nice change of pace. Yeah, I'm almost disappointed. I'm almost. Now, let's find our way in. Let's go claim our treasure, boys. <laughs> hmm. Can't get in that way. Sam, give me a hand with this. Yeah.
Let's see what we got here. Huh. Looks like there's something back here. Sam? Yeah. Let's do this. Damn. It's breaked over. All right, let's look around. Heads up! Ah, Jesus! I said heads up! He's got a lot riding on this. See a treasure, though. Hey guys, coming. Come check this out. Saint Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas too. And that's, uh... That's, that's Adam Baldridge, that's uh, Joseph Farrell, and that's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh... Let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Uh, maybe... Maybe one of the arms, or... Yeah, give it a shot. Whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. The trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Hector, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery Sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, a treasure's gotta be in one of them, right? Yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here.
let's hope so. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, fine. Sam? Yeah, over here. Let's hope so. You okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. Sam? Yeah, over here. Hey, what are you doing? He's confirming his suspicion. Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Locations, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed. Hey, because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Well, that's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Guess we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, are you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. Crap. Uh, but still... Two beats the hell out of 12. All right. I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that one. No, 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 no. no, no. Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly. So if we want to have a chance to catch them, then we've got to split up. Uh, Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. If you run into any of those shoreline clouds, you call us, okay? See you soon. Come on, Nate. We gotta hurry. Yeah. All right, there's our tower. You really think all that treasure's gonna be just sitting in the middle of a goddamn market? Oh, yeah, that'd be crazy. But we've seen crazy before. That we have. 